Hi everybody, Draw Ninja Casey here, and what you're seeing here is an effect caused by my 360 degrees revolving camera rig. This thing is a game changer for YouTubers and also for TikTokers. If you really are interested in adding this camera effect to your video arsenal, then you must watch this video all the way through so that you don't miss important details. Now, I would love to say that this design idea came from me initially, but it didn't. The video I did watch that gave me the idea was from a YouTuber called Noptop. Although it was a great idea, even he admitted that his design was flawed, he actually challenged anyone watching the video to improve on it. So of course, I took up that challenge and came up with a way to not only improve on it, but to maybe even perfect it. Now the problem with the initial design was that it was created for a ceiling. So that picture I showed you before was what was supposed to be like the artificial ceiling which was PVC poles stretched across the room. That didn't work because every time the rig turned a certain number of degrees, the PVC pole would shift, the weight of the rig would shift, and it would stop turning. That was very frustrating. So I had to come up with a better design. And I did. Now let me show you how to put this design together so that you can have this awesome effect. Now pay attention class because this is a rundown of the list of things you'll definitely need in order to build your 360 rig. A skateboard wheel, two pieces of wood by 11 inches long, two and a half inches wide and about a half an inch thick. Two 516s by 2.5 inch bolts. Loctite premium adhesive. This thing is amazing. Two thin two inch screws. Three 516 nuts. Two PVC 3 4 of an inch pipe elbows. You're also going to need the T joint, same size, 3 fourths of an inch. You're going to need two of those. A PVC cutter. A pair of pliers. One of those leveler rulers. You're going to need this for whatever it is you're going to attach the rig to. If it's a plank or a board or whatever, it has to be leveled. That's very important. About 10 feet of three-fourths of an inch PVC piping. Two kitchen timers. You don't have to worry about finding these items. I'm gonna put a link to where you can get them online. I think it's better to get them online so you can get them all in one shot rather than having to go to Home Depot to scour around for all these items. Any item that I do not list, you can though go to your local Home Depot to find it. In addition, you will also need a box cutter, a measuring tape, and definitely a drill. You will also need a 5 16 drill bit, a 3 8 drill bit, two sets of 3 8 by 4 inch nuts and bolts, and two thick rubber bands. And oh yeah, a saw. Although I didn't list this as one of the items you should get, you do need something to attach the rig to. Right here you see I have two shelves with a plank going across it. The most important thing was for me to make sure that the plank was leveled and even and situated in a way where it would not move when the rig was turning. This way it doesn't shift the weight of the rig and stop the rig from turning. We're gonna take a piece of wood and cut the edge off to where the wheel sticks out both sides of the edge of the wood. And then we'll drill a hole in the middle of that because that's where the screw is gonna go. And then we'll cut that off Now from your 3 fourths PVC pipe, you're going to measure 5 feet and cut 5 feet off of that using your trusty 
PVC cutter. You're gonna find the middle of that five foot PVC that you cut off, and now you're gonna cut a square in the middle of that. That's where the head of the bolt is gonna go once you attach the wheel to it and that to the PVC pipe. So now I drill holes in the sides of the square that go through so that it hits the rubber of the skate wheel. Just so that I know that when the screws are put in permanently that they're not hitting the ball bearing and those screws will attach the wheel to the PVC piping. After I have the holes marked, I remove the wheel and put in the 516 bolt but I sandwiched the wheel between two nuts. <laughs> okay, so there's the bolt, you put a nut on it, the wheel, and then another nut. Then you pair up the holes again in order to screw on the wheel. And now you make use of that square that you made earlier so that the head of the bolt fits through there and it doesn't interrupt the PVC pipe from turning. Now with the second piece of wood, you're gonna measure and drill a hole right smack dab in the middle of it. Put the small piece that you cut off before on, turn it like I do right here, and then put the other piece of wood on top of that making sure that the wheel is sticking out on either side of the smaller piece of wood. Uh, because the bolt that I bought was a little too long, there, were, there was a piece of it sticking out. So that nut that you see by my hand there is actually gonna go on that piece that's sticking out, and I'm gonna have to end up drilling a hole in the plank that I was gonna attach it to in order to accommodate that nut and that piece that's sticking out there so it doesn't hang loose on the wood. Once that's done, you match that up with the hole, make sure it's in there. And then basically to keep that part in place, you tape it down because this is where you're going to drill the holes that are gonna be used to fasten the plank to the rig. So the holes have to match up. So you tape it down so it doesn't move. This is where you use the 3-8 bit because you're gonna be using the 3-8 screws. After it's fastened, it should look like this on both sides. And you can put it back on your support, making sure again that the support is even. Apply the Loctite on the top of the kitchen timers. Place both kitchen timers one eighth of an inch from the wheel. It's very important that there's that one eighth of an inch space between the kitchen timer and the wheel because the rubber band is going to take up that space and once you apply the rubber band to the kitchen timer that's what's going to turn the rig so in the end it should look like this one other important thing to remember is to apply glue between the wheel and the pvc pipe this way it reinforces the strength of that connection now balance is the name of the game of, for this whole thing, so make sure that the weight of the arm and also the phone that you're gonna use or the GoPro or whatever it is that you're gonna use weigh the same as whatever it is you're putting on the other side to counter that weight. Here I'm just using tape and a piece of PVC. So you apply the counterweight to one side and I'm using my iPhone here so I'm using the rubber band to attach it to that PVC T. This way I can shift the phone up or down depending on the angle I want to record. Now this particular rig is not for heavy cameras, it's just for light cameras like your phone or GoPro. To get this starting you turn both clocks all the way to 60 minutes. 
you double twist the rubber band and slide it in between the wheel and the clock by sliding it onto the clocks and record on time-lapse mode on your iPhone or you can record on regular mode and just speed it up in editing if you'd like. Either way, the effect will be the same and you'll have your 360 time-lapse rig video effect. You can also remove the rubber bands from the clock and get some really awesome 360 shots. Hope you guys learned to do this from watching this video. It can be a really cool effect to add to your videos. If you guys do not want to go through all these steps to actually build this thing, there's an easier step. You can actually buy one on my website. So you can go on my website. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can purchase one and I will build one for you and send it out. What I can build is the shelves are <laughs> the plank you would have to put it on. But uh, what I did build for myself, uh, since the two seconds you saw the last the last clip, is a kind of like a makeshift stand for both sides of this thing using PVC and uh, wood. So, I mean, that's how I did it. Maybe I'll make a video showing you guys how to make your own stands, but you definitely have to get a plank to attach it to and you have to get um, either two shelves or make your own stands to attach it to. But this thing is legit. I'm actually recording the uh, outro of this video on it right now. So, see? <laughs>So like I said, if you don't want to go through all of these steps, make the easy choice, purchase it um, from my website. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can have a lot of fun leveling up your TikToks, your Instagram, and your YouTube videos. Have a good one. Join Ninja Casey saying, see you next time. Wow!